Family, this week we've been having Vacation Bible School, and we have a scripture verse for this week, and that's what I want to talk to you about today. The scripture for this week comes to us from Psalm chapter 25, verse 4. Here's what it says. Make your ways known to me, Lord. Teach me your paths. Now, the word ways has to do with knowing what to do in certain circumstances. Ways has to do with knowing how to live this life. You know, when I was a teenager and got ready to drive, my dad showed me how to change the oil in my car. Uh, but if my dad hadn't shown me how to do that, if someone would have said, change the oil in your car, I would have been clueless. I wouldn't have known about where to put the oil in the engine, and I wouldn't have known about the bolt that has to be loosened on the bottom of the oil pan under the vehicle in order to drain the oil out of the engine. And I wouldn't have known about the metal oil measuring stick in the front of the engine. I would have been clueless because I wouldn't know the way to change the oil in my car if my dad hadn't told me the way. Well, in his book to us, in the Bible, our Heavenly Father tells us the way about a lot of things. He tells us the way that parents are to raise their children. And he tells us the way a husband and a wife are to relate to each other. And he teaches us so many other ways that we need to know for this life. So the word way is about knowing how to live this life. But it isn't enough to have the knowledge of how to live this life. Uh, we have to apply God's ways to our life and actually live in those ways. And that's what the word paths is about. Uh, the word paths is about walking the right way in this life. It's about living our life in the ways that God has taught us. Uh, take a look at the verse again. Make your ways known to me, Lord. Teach me your paths. You know, the most important way that God has taught us has to do with salvation and having eternal life. Jesus said this. He said, I am the way. This is the most important way that God has taught us. When a person admits that they have sinned against God and then they believe that Jesus died on that cross for them and three days later rose from the dead and, and then when they confess that Jesus Christ is their Savior and Lord, this is the way of God for our lives. And then Jesus says, follow me. Follow me on this path of life. You see, Jesus is the way, and we must live for him in this life. So when the psalm says, make your ways known to me, the most important way is Jesus. And when the psalm says, teach me your paths, the way we apply the way, who is Jesus, to our life is to live our life for Jesus every day. Now, why did God give his one and only son for our salvation? Well, it's because God loves you. He wants to have a relationship with you that is real and personal. Well, God bless you. I'll see you next time.